Hey everybody, welcome back to the Nuxt Full Stack web development series where we go from beginner all the way to, I don't know, fucking skilled developer, senior developer level in Nuxt.js. So in the last video, we made two pages and we allowed ourselves to link to our second page. So to show you what that looks like, we have a simple hello world and we can click about and it will link us to that. Now, Nuxt has a very interesting way of doing routing, file-based routing. So instead of adding your routes to a a routing file and manually doing it yourself. Nuxt, if you may have noticed, does it very intelligently. So if we create within our pages an about.view, that will be slash about. Obviously, index will just be the root. We can do a lot of cool stuff with this, actually. We can create a folder, and this folder can be a subdirectory. So if I go to profiles, this is just an example, but if I do profiles and I make a new component called one.view, and we just add a template, and we just put a one there. Now, if we go to slash profile slash one, we get taken to that page. And if we were to make a second file in here to dot view and let's just make another simple template with a two we can now redirect to that using the same subdirectory. So we can do very cool stuff like that. Along with this, we're gonna delete our two profiles actually, and we're gonna create a new file. And this is going to have what's called a slug. So this is a dynamic parameter or a query parameter. And inside of here, we can give our slug an ID. So we're gonna call it profile ID dot view. Any slug must have these square brackets around it. So let's make that file and we're gonna do a template. Any content that we put here, let's just do a one. If we do like, let's say three or four, all of them will redirect us to this same page because we're just expecting a dynamic parameter after profiles. Now, what if we want to get our query parameter inside of the body or in our content of our application? Well, that's where we make a script tag. So we can do script lang ts set up as you do in view. And now we can retrieve our parameter. So we can say profile ID equals, and we can say use route and then dot params dot profile ID. And now let's use a nice little view feature. And instead of having the one, we're going to insert one of our variables. And to do that in view, we put two curly brackets and close a variable name in two curly brackets. And we can just type in profile ID. And now when we go here, whatever we add to our query parameter will display in the body of our content. So we can use this however we like. If let's say we wanna fetch information, we can do so. Whatever the case may be, this allows us to use dynamic routing, which is actually very cool and really really simple to do. And that's everything for this episode. Stay tuned for the next one and thank you for watching.